This is the first video in a new series of VDSLR tutorials that is strictly for lenses for video mode. Every day I get dozens of emails asking me about lenses that they should get for either their 7D or their D90. And this series of videos will help you pick out those lenses. The first type of lens that we're going to talk about is primes. The main advantage of having a prime lens over a zoom lens is the speed of the aperture. So typically a prime lens will open up faster than a zoom lens. This is very important for video mode because we have a set shutter speed that we must maintain for each frame rate. So the faster the lens, the lower the light that we can film in. So for example, if you're shooting in an extreme low light situation like this following clip, um, this can only be done with the speed of a fast prime lens. This clip was shot with the Nikon 50mm 1.8 lens and it was shot right before the sunrise so it's very very dark and these type of results you can only get from a, a prime lens of this speed. In addition to that it was color corrected to give it kind of a max pain kind of a feeling. So, what are my prime lens recommendations? Well, I would say start with either the Canon 50mm 1.8 or the Nikon 50mm 1.8. They're both around $100 or less. They're cheap, they're very sharp, and they're a great starter lens. Up from that, I would probably get the Sigma 30mm 1.4 and that's also an excellent lens. And on a crop sensor like a Canon 7D, it gives the equivalent of a 50 millimeter lens on the Canon 5D. Above that, any of the Canon L series primes are amazing lenses for both stills and video, but you really don't need that sharpness for video mode. In fact, what I recommend is trying different prime lenses from different camera manufacturers or different lens manufacturers for different mounts and then adapting those to Canon. The thing is, is that with the video mode you're talking about a resolution that's less than 2 megapixels. So it doesn't take a really great lens in order to saturate the amount of sharpness that you need for uh, 2 megapixels. You'll find a lot of the older lenses that are better for manual focusing and they're significantly cheaper and they give a an excellent image in the video mode. The thing about getting the higher end prime lenses is that in the future if you're going to use these lenses with say uh, a red camera then getting the sharpest lens possible now is something that you can use later when you upgrade your camera body. But on the other hand, if you're just shooting a, a project right now or and trying to do it as low budget as possible, then you can easily get away with, uh, you know, just trying different experimental lenses from eBay. So my final recommendation for a prime lens for any of the, the video DSLRs, or especially the Canon 7D, is to first get a 50 millimeter lens and then build your collection from there. You probably always want to travel with at least one prime lens and you know with those the 50 millimeter from Canon or Nikon being around hundred dollars it's really one of the best investments you can make for your camera mm -hmm.